with your boy CVT, man. I got some breaking news, man. Listen, I'm not even going to tell you the sauce because he a cocksucker, but he broke it. And I'm just going to take off where he left off. You see what I'm saying? You rocking with your boy. Listen, people, let's get straight to it, man. Look, your boy, the way Bully Spence, has agreed to fight my boy Terrence Crawford next Granted that he got to get past Amir Khan. And I told you guys, you know, that's going to be a tough fight for him to overcome. I think Amir Khan got a lot in the tank left. And I think he's no Lamar Peterson at the end of the day. We're going to talk about that when we talk about that. But if the weight bully, if the weight bully is really about that life. And he really want that work. And he not playing no games, no promotion games, no network games. And he want Terrence Crawford. People, the source is real. Spence actually said this. Bob Amram, he he confirmed it. You dig? Old Bob confirmed it, man. That the way Bully reached out and said, I want Terrence Crawford next, man. And I like it, man. I like it, man. Now, you know, at the end of the day, now, this is the fight. This is the position he should be trying to place himself in, man. You understand what I'm saying? You know, look. We got, we got, uh, Sean, we got Keith, we got, you know, Keith is injured. Sean, he moving and shaking, he wobbly, we don't know he on the fence, he may take another different fight, we don't know, but the point is this, if, listen, I, I'm, let me calm down, man, cause I'm, I'm hyped right now, man, cause this is what I like, this is what I need from a champion like the way Bully Spence, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, if he takes this fight, I'm gonna give him nothing but props, and, oh, uh, listen, in fact, if he takes this fight right next, next, and even if he say, look, you know, yeah, he got to get past uh, Khan. And, and you know what? I'm going to fight uh, Porter. I'm going to put hands and feet. I'm going to get the WBC belt. But I'm taking uh, Terrence Crawford next. However the situation goes, I'm telling you, on this channel, Casual Boxing Talk, the best channel on YouTube, I will never in my life call Earl Away Bully Spence the weight bully ever in my life. Just off GP, just for him saying he's going to take the fight with Terrence Crawford and not prolong it for three, five years and not talk about a court the street and around the corner. If he says what he said, this is what he said, man. But I just want to get some more confirmations. You dig what I'm saying? I will never in, uh, in my life call him the weight bully. I will never call him a PED user because I have to respect this man. For actually doing what champions do and understanding the landscape, you know, uh, 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 Keith is hurt. Sean Porter, like I said, on the fence. You dig what I'm saying? There's not many guys out there that he can actually prove himself against. He fought a small guy, Mikey Garcia. Pacquiao don't want to fight him. Pacquiao, oh, you can't chase names. You got to chase legacy by fighting tough guys. Guys that's in your weight class. Guys that are your size. That Guys that are skilled just like you are skilled. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to break the fight down. And obviously, I'm going to be I'm pro Terrence Crawford when it comes to the way Bully Spence. You dig what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm no fanboy because I'm telling you right now. Now, I'm on the fence of picking Khan. You dig? Because I think Khan is a better, not better in any, you know, dramatic way, but I just think that Styles make fights and Khan got hand speed, he got footwork, he's a pure boxer, and Khan never lost a boxing match in his life. He got knocked out by punches. You see what I'm saying? So, how am I just going to pick Terrence Crawford? No! I'm not a fanboy. You dig what I'm saying? I'm a boxing fan that break down film and things of this nature, right? So, at the end of the day, man, this is good news. People, this is good news. And I know that he's been hearing the pressures from, you know, the pressure from the fans and the YouTubers like me and you dig like the rest of those cocksuckers and they, he understands that people not giving him credit for the Mikey Garcia. People understand that, look, Mikey did step up, Mikey did talk crazy, but he shut Mikey down, he shut Mikey out, he destroyed them point blank period. But then on the flip side, it's Mikey Small. Yeah, he talk crazy, but he's small. You dig what I'm saying? It's like a woman that's talking crazy to a man in the store, and she, he, he the smacker. Yeah, he smacked her, but then you're going to say, yeah, she shouldn't have been talking. Nah, she a woman, dog. You can't hit a woman. You can't just be abused, you know, Mikey Garcia. You like that? You dig what I'm saying? Now, you got a guy like me that was a big Mikey Garcia fan. I was riding for him with, for months, and now he's a big cocksucker, and I told you that. He got to redeem himself. Let Mikey fight Pacquiao, man. Let that happen, bro. You don't need Pacquiao, man. These black channels always say, Stop chasing Mexicans and Filipinos and white fighters. Won't you fight each other? Won't you build your legacy by fighting black 
fighters. You dig what I'm saying? Stop, you know, saying that, hey, I need a Mexican partner in order to uh, sell tickets. You're basically backwards if you if you if you if you don't want to respond uh, you know support and respect black fighting black I, I want that right that but for this fight we gonna we want that i want i want what you guys want i'm on your side on this one how about that don't don't renege on me now but this is good news people and i know that he understands that the people want this fight he understands that this ain't no mayweather pacquiao type of thing and you let, let it build up and uh it'll do millions on top of millions it ain't that type of thing man crawford versus Spence is a big fight. Right now, it's a big fight, man. You understand what I'm saying? But the pressure is on my boy Crawford because Crawford got to show up and show out. He got to look good and spectacular against Khan. But, you know, for me, if he don't look spectacular, if he get tapped up, I still want to say, no, that's okay. No, he's not slipping. No, he's not, he's not missing a step. Khan is a great athlete. He's a great boxer. He's a pure puncher. Like, he's really, really good, man. So if he, you know, come out of that fight with some bruises and lumps and he got exposed in certain areas, Khan is not, Spence is not Khan. You dig what I'm saying? Spence don't got hand speed like that. Spence ain't got foot speed like that. Spence ain't got movement like that. So they're two completely different fights. It's just like when I tell you guys with Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, just because Anthony Joshua may struggle, let's say, well, against uh, Parker. He didn't struggle, but you know, I could I could see some money making a case that he didn't do what he normally does, right? But I always say styles make fights, and sometimes you know somebody may have your number. Say somebody may be able to take away your right hand, be able to take away your movement, not allow you to cut the ring off, and you just can't get them because they got your number in the aspect. But obviously, Josh was the better fighter. He was the front foot forward fighter. He was the fighter that was aggressive. But at the end of the day, I could break it down all night long. This is what I do. I'm Anthony Joshua's, Joshua's supporter. You see what I'm saying? You dig what I'm talking about? But at the end of the day, man, if Spence really go for the gusto, man, I got to give him props. For, not because I want the fight. Not because I want to see him lose. All those things, things are true. But I'm a true sport. You dig what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm keeping it 100. I'm keeping it funky with you dudes. You dig what I'm saying? I'm talking about no socks on. You dig what I'm talking about? I'm talking about type of thing that I'm talking about. You see me? I'm just hype right now, B. Yo, so, you know, he's really pulling the trigger. And he's really doing something that Mayweather would have never done. You dig what I'm saying? He's doing something that Pacquiao, obviously, you know, it's evident that he wouldn't do. Because he wouldn't take the Spence fight. Because he understands Spence is bigger and stronger. I think, I think Pacquiao still would give him problems i just don't know if size is going to be the ultimate factor at the end you know of the rounds but you know i don't want to break that fight down i don't want to talk about that fight i like what spence is doing right now so call me a spence cocksucker right now you see what i'm saying i'm a spence cocksucker right now that's what i am because i'm telling you right now tomorrow if, if, if it get clarified even further i'm gonna say your word to everything spence is not on pdds he is not um the weight bully, he's official, he has succumbed to the pressure of the fans that have legitimate concerns about him beating on little guys and guys that are BC level guys. He can't make his name in, a, in the history books when they open up with the Algeries and the Bundus and the Lamont Petersons and we pro the Lamont Peterson for Spence and he was an old man, you dig? So he really, come on now, if, if, if uh, you understand me, if Porter, if uh, Peterson would have came through uh, against um the homie last night, right? Then we could have made an argument that hold on, Peterson really still got something left because Peterson did look good in the early parts of that fight, right? But you know, the homie overcame him and uh, his name escapes me right now. And that's what I'm I'm just so amped up. I can't even remember what the hell for that. And I broke the fight down round by round, but I don't care. I'm telling you right now that uh this is great news for boxing. This should actually put everybody on notice that you got to step up. You got to step up and show out. Just like Deontay Wilder. You got to step up. You got to show out. There's no time for ducking. The fans are not going to respect it. And you will not be a legend. And you will not be followed. And you will not be loved. What Spence is doing right now. I'm telling you right now. And his career. You know, this is the perfect time to fight somebody that's as talented, as uh, skillful, as that has as much heart as you do. And y'all guys are in y'all prime. You know, granted, you know, Crawford been in the game a little longer and et cetera, but they're in their prime. You dig? So let's just pray 
that Crawford gets past Khan with no problem. So now, obviously, I'm I'm on the fence. I'm picking I'm picking my boy Crawford. I'm I got to see it because this is so good for boxing. Imagine these two guys in the ring, man. You know, Spence is a big puncher. You know, he's a come forward fighter. He shows some decent boxing skills. He shows he got a jab. He shows he can use output, uh, a lot of output. He can punch all day long, but I think his power diminishes in the later rounds because he threw so many punches at Mikey Garcia, but that's my keys to victory for Crawford if I have to break this fight down because I got some stuff I need to tell you. You understand me about your boy Spence, about that fight with Mikey. No one talked about, man, but you know, you got Crawford, a mover, a puncher, switch hitter, a guy that moves around the ring properly. Properly, education, educated mover, right? He got an educated jab. He's an educated uh, guy that comes forward and on the back foot. He's not somebody sloppy. He's not somebody that makes mistakes. He's not somebody that's a B-level guy that did some good things. This is an A-class versus, you know, let's call Spencer A-class right now because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a real Spence cocksucker right now until tomorrow, and I got to get some clarifications. But after that, I'm, this is going to be a girl Spence support page. <laughs> I'm going to be supporting the way bully Spence. <laughs> Everywhere, your man ain't never here, you feel me? Alright, no, let's get this break, let's see the box.